everybody. Um, Glenn Trayer, Trayer Wilderness. Um, today we're going to be building a door for in the house and I thought I'd show you how I'm doing that. I don't have all kinds of fancy jigs and stuff like that so this is what I got and this is what I'm going to build a door with. I'm going to grab this camera and show you here. Um, okay hopefully it's not too bright out but this is what we got okay we got some threaded small thread um, I think that's like quarter inch something like that all thread I got three pieces I'm gonna drill holes straight through these two by tens and then I'm gonna run that all the way from one side to the other I'm gonna inset them from the end I'll drill in <laughs> Um, so that I can put a washer and a nut on this uh, on either side and tighten the door down. I'm also going to put these dials, the dowels, um, in. Um, let's see if I can get one of these out of here. Probably put four in each um, board. So, you know, I put one up here at the top, one in the middle here, one down there, and one down there. I might even put, like, in the middle here, I might even put two of them in each each board. I um, have four boards. Uh, again, they're two by tens, which anybody that's built anything today knows are not true two by tens. Uh, this is stuff I bought. I didn't have these. Um, milled up, ready to go. Hopefully you can hear me with this wind. Um, these are the tools I got. Um, my skill saw and uh, Bosch hand plane. I don't have a joiner so I'm going to use this um, to joint my edges to make them nice and hopefully square. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do with uh, this electrical tape is I'm going to take this um, and I'll wrap electrical tape around here. This is a I'm do this one handy, um, auger bit. Um, I'll put tape around it. That way I know how deep to run each time. Um, I know they make stops and everything like that for on them. One different bit but I don't have one so just uh, electrical tape works fine um, so I'll run to where I'm half half and half on these dowels and um, drill in to you know here and here I'll mark make marks and drill and I'll put glue on there I'll glue the door the seams and uh, then clamp it with these clamps um, so I have to rip the door down a little bit and then I'll cut my ends um, to make sure they're good and squared and they're um, and to my length what I need it. So um, I'll show you different steps as I'm going along and what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um, but I just thought I'd show you this, how uh, the tools I got. So, alright guys, we'll uh, see you in a bit. Later. Okay guys, um, something I thought I'd point out here is um, when you're putting your marks down, like where you drill for this all thread and stuff, don't, um, make sure you don't put it where you're going to put your handle, uh, where you're going to drill hook through for your, your handle to be. Um, I'm going to make mine about 34 inches, it's kind of 33 I think is standard, um, but I'm going to make mine about 34 just because i got to be different. Um, and, and then, uh, yeah, just make sure when you do this, um, you know, that you're not putting, drilling through, which you shouldn't, unless you're putting like four pieces of all thread through, which would not be a bad idea. Um, but, uh, 
yeah just make sure you don't do that when you're laying this out so i just thought i'd point that out to you all right 